to take one. Take one. See one. Action, bitch. <laughs> Yeah. Yo, we live the same, man. You know what it is, dog. The live is cloud radio show on the planet, man. Straight from the E Block Radio, live on your dial right this moment. I think we switched off again. Did we? Did we mess up? Yeah, I think we did. I think it slid again. I don't know. We gonna roll with it though. We just gonna leave it like it is. Fuck it. You know what it is, man. It's your boy, the Hood Howard Star Q Lewis, holding it down for six miles to the mile high. Got my man, Birthday Monk Money, in the building. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Birthday Monk Money. What's yeah. the deal? Yo, I got my man, Angry Man, in the building. Damn, already? <laughs> got, my man, got my man Gigabytes in the building. What up, though? Man, what's really good, dog? Facebook Live, we definitely in the building, man. What is the deal? Thank y'all for checking us out right now. Shout out to my man Joe, just checking in, too, man. Joe Beard, that's uh, Joe the Vet. You know what I'm saying? Always checking in. That's all up, good. Joe the Vet Salutes, nigga. For sure, for sure. It's my birthday, nigga. Yeah, he say he back in the kitchen working and laughing at y'all. Yeah, I know. I think my man got like, uh, like he got some baked goods and shit. Like, we need to hook y'all up. Y'all some cooking <laughs> ass motherfuckers. Yeah, to put y'all together, dog. But uh, anyway, dog, is uh, it is Social Media Thursday. So if you got social media, make sure that you hit us up on Instagram and Twitter. So hit up my man Real Monk Money, and of course myself, Hood Howard Sternus on Twitter and Instagram and. I guess we we record over here too. I don't know which camera looking. All right, all right, we looking at <laughs> looking at both. I don't even know. All right, so we live, man. It's been all week, dog. So it's late, though. What, you want to talk about what you did last week, or you just want to fucking just go no, in? Fuck, it's my birthday. Fuck what happened last week. It's about right now, nigga. <laughs> <man. laughs> hey, well, fuck it. What's going on with you, birthday month, money? Shit, nigga, we about to turn up in this bitch. We about know? to turn up in this bitch with, with all these drinks we bought your ass, nigga. We out here. <laughs> nah, <drink. laughs> hey, 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 Facebook. <laughs> I had to buy my own shit. My man's usually got oh, me. Oh, here we go. Oh, you usually got me. Dog, and hey, y'all, y'all, y'all looked at us. Me. Y'all checked us out last week, dog. We had him last week. We had him. Fuck last week. It we had a birthday fifth, last we week. We had fifth of patrol last week, Fuck dog. Fifth patrol. We said it was a pre-birthday turn up. I drink Duce. I drink Duce. Hey, it was a pre-birthday turn up. Bitch, you ain't drink? I'm drinking right now. <laughs> right. And hey, if you watching right now, man, wish my man, wish my man's a happy birthday, dog. My man Joe the Vet said happy birthday. Thanks, man. And, and it's called it's called Beard Sweets. That's what it's called. Beard Sweets. Yeah, we're gonna check him out. Make sure if you're listening right now, you click on my man link and check him out too. I gotta sip some of my Modelo. Alright, we back. So what's up with you, dog? It's your birthday, nigga. How you feel? I feel good to the motherfucker right feel now. Feel good to the motherfucker? Feel good to the motherfucker. Got my motherfucking stogie. Yeah. Got my motherfucking do say. That bitch about to get you high. I hope so, cause I ain't smoking the weed. <laughs> that nigga said, I hope so. <laughs> I, can't, I can't indulge in the 420, you know what I'm saying? So I'm right. gonna do this right now, you know what I'm talking about? For sure, for sure, man. Yeah, for yeah. real. If you're checking us out right now, man, hit me in the comment box and make sure you tell my man Monk Money happy birthday. Yeah. Cause it is his birthday, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And my man said he ship also. Like, that ain't get a sell on. He like, nigga, I ship your shit, ain't that? Hey, well, ship me some shit, nigga. It's my birthday, nigga. <laughs> he said, ship him some shit right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like chocolate. I don't like strawberries. Nigga. Word. Coco J said, happy birthday, Monk. Thank you, Coco. Go. For sure, for sure. All right, man. So look, we gonna skip on into some shit, dog. That we want to talk about, dog. Do we want to talk about what <laughs> Gigabyte was talking about Fuck before we got right? We talk about everything. Let's well, go. Well, let me let me talk about the pop shit first. All right. Okay, then, so I, yeah, I gotta talk about the pop shit. So the pop shit is a uh, cereal, right? So it's Kellogg's. I, I think Kellogg's make uh, pops. Yeah. Anyway, what happened is you know you got the the back of the cereal box. It's got these games on it and shit, right? So I don't I don't remember what the the for real course of the game was. Shout out to my man Jay. James Alexander, actually, who uh, posted this topic earlier because like, he did a radio show earlier this morning. And they was talking about how they had all these pops, you know, the pops was like characters, all these characters on the, on the back with jobs. And only the only the dark skin pop and shit, right, was the one that was doing the janitorial work. So somebody tweeted in, somebody tweeted in like, is this shit racist or not? So I just want to ask y'all, if y'all out there listening right now, if you seen on the back of a cereal box, you got a bunch of workers, and one of them dark skin, and one is a, and that one that's dark skin is a janitor. Is that racist, or are people just kind of going over the top? I mean, like angry man. I know you always say that it's a gray area and shit. You know what I'm saying? But I'm curious though. Like, is that is that is that some fucking like what is that? Is that really racist though? What what you think? Cause I know you always in the gray area, so you know you always say it could be one thing, it could be not. You know, that's, you know what I'm saying? That's just where I live. You know yeah. What, I mean? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is he looking at? Wow, you're right. He is all on some other shit. So anyway, angry man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, it's, it's racist. I mean, it's racist. Yeah. Is it doing too much though? Like, by by like, cause like my man tweeted it out and everything. Like, you know, called them out. 
Kellogg's issued a, a tweet saying like they ain't mean no shit by it. Like was it is it that serious? Like do you think it was that serious? You know what? Sometimes dog I just get I just get kinda of tired of all this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like every, anything and everything can be pulled as racism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You can look at that, ooh, wow, is it racist? Right. Ooh, wow, is that racist? Yeah. God damn, is that motherfucking racism? Now, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you though. The reason why I think it's a problem, I don't think necessarily it's racist, but the reason I think it's a problem is because it's Syria. And kids is looking at it, and you know, kids, you get trained by looking it's at subliminal, shit. Subliminal, it's subliminal. It's subliminal, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I have my man you know, clean his shit, so I mean, yeah. he could have shovel his shit. You know, that's, that's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? He could have been, been, been a slave pop up. He could have been a slave. <laughs> I mean, dog, y'all fucking taking this shit lightly. That shit, I think this shit is. It could, it could be, it could be it's deeper bullshit. now, right? It's yeah. bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's because that's not what I'm I know saying. my fault. Yeah, my fault. <laughs> that's not what I'm saying. <laughs> Birthday month got ahead of itself. I mean, you know, just just like what he just said. You know, I mean, at one point, do we? You know, I don't know how the fuck we do it. You know what I'm saying? But they 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 always have a stone to throw at us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They can always find something to say. Every every time we think shit getting ready to get cool. Yeah. They can just pick up something and just like even with fucking <laughs> nigga it's cereal. Right. Damn, you can't even eat a bowl of fucking cereal <laughs> without <laughs> the shit being racist. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm mean? saying? Cause it is at, at, certain, at a certain degree, though, at that age, though, it is like programming. I like, mean, but, 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 and don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with being a janitor. <laughs> but I'm just saying, man, boys in the hood fucked us up more than goddamn cereal could ever fuck these. People. I don't know, dog. No, I, I think more niggas are eating pops than it is that watch Boys in the Hood. So I think it's, it's hitting a bigger audience. Yeah, you tripping? I mean, you don't know. They, they, they pull it from everywhere, man. No matter yeah. what we come out with, no matter what we do. No matter what we say, they gonna come out with it. Man, man. we say fucking wars. We fucking we won wars, bro. And yeah. we still fucking janitors. We won wars, bro. <laughs> we won I fucking mean, yeah, wars, somebody, bro. Somebody got to be on fries every dollar. I'm just saying. Man, I mean, shit ain't gotta somebody be Somebody got to. It could be retarded Ricky. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> retarded Ricky. I'm sorry. We, <laughs> so we, we I'm are sorry. definitely moving along. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but... I'm just saying though, bro. Like for real uh, though, like it's a subliminal, bro, and that's bullshit, bro. I feel like, like it is. On yeah. the back of the box, every back of the box. Look at Captain Crunch. It's one, it's one black nigga out of all the characters they got on the hey, back of that bitch, bro. Black Captain Crunch too. He was supposed to be black about three years. Ago. Man, for real? yeah. Oh, I didn't, I didn't know that. Was I wasn't aware of that. Black Captain Crunch, bro. Yeah. Oh, sure, I didn't know that. Yes, bro, and it's bullshit, bro. Like, yeah. we don't get no fucking recognition about the shit we do. All we do is janitor, janitorial work. <laughs> janitorial you know work. And that's bullshit, bro. Like, right. we, we fucking won wars around this bitch, bro. No, you know I'm saying? saying? Like, it's history behind that shit. Y'all don't know about it because they don't want y'all to know. You feel no, me? No, so feel they gonna put us on the back of a box sweeping the goddamn flow when it's motherfucking... <laughs> Black geniuses out here. All these invent inventions, black people came again, up with. Again, I feel you. I feel it. And, and the reason I, I say that I do take it that seriously is only, in, in, in all honesty, is only because it's on the cereal box. If it was some other shit, I, I, I probably wouldn't shit. think nothing about it. But it's for the kids. I just know that, yeah, once you start programming the kid, and again, it's nothing wrong with being it's a jatter. But, but I'm but just it's saying. It's sexful black motherfuckers you, out here. Exactly. So if you see a whole box full of, you know, quote unquote, uh, lighter pops and shit, then you see the one dark pop and this motherfucker sleeping in the flow, it's like. You got a brew. You know it makes you feel some kind of way. That falls back to my gray area, which falls back to my man. Uh -huh. that shit started, started the career. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. You know what I'm saying? This you, is true. You, this you is true. Every fucking thing you read. Yeah. You know I mean? A lot Man. of that shit is out there just because it's supposed to be because, even yeah. though it ain't doing it, but it's supposed to be because of what it's supposed to do. Right. You know, if that shit makes sense. It, it is. It is weird though. It's kind of you know funny. I would figure though, if we was in the if, if we was in the boardroom. And they did the the back of the box and shit, and it just came up that the dark skin pot was sweeping the floor. Somebody would have said so. Yeah, Somebody be like, dog, no, like it's, you, you just gotta be careful. That's just what that's like if you had a, if you had the dark pot back there eating watermelon, you just know like, hey, maybe not. Yeah. So, so should we <laughs> should we take a knee on Kellogg? <laughs> Hell no, because I, I love frosted flakes. I, I love frosted I flakes. Do too, like, I, can't. I do too, but we need to take a knee on some some of this shit. I mean, bro. but they but they hurried up and acknowledged it and shit and took the shit off the shelves. They took they off the shelves and they redoing. And that's one hundred. Yeah, and so that's one hundred. Yeah. Now they, they say they didn't mean to do it, but at the same time, who knows? They probably did mean to do it. Like yeah. who knows? Like, yeah. I, but that's what I'm getting. It's at. subliminal no, messages and everything. There's no diversity. 
if they had a black motherfucker sitting in the boardroom with them, yeah. he would have said something like you like we said. <laughs> I swear to God, or or either these motherfuckers always take a bathroom break right at that moment, yeah, yeah. right at that moment. <laughs> like, hey, you know what? I gotta go take a shit. Right. And then they in there like, hey, put the nigga in there, and sweep on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know how to happen. That's just uh, bullshit, bro. <laughs> Crystal Lynn said, uh, said, what up? Happy birthday, Mo. They're looking out. Yeah. So. No, I don't know. So I it was a it was a tough area when I first read it. I'm like, damn. And then I thought to myself, like, no, it ain't that, it ain't that serious. But then I just thought about, the, I mean, the, the ramifications though is kids looking at that shit and they they can be swayed to think that not again, not that there's anything wrong <laughs> with being a janitor, but that's that's not what you aspire to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be honest about it. Like people trying to force you to go to school and get this seventy, eighty thousand dollar or hundred twenty thousand dollar education, you ain't going to get that bitch to sweep a flow. Let's just be honest. They don't get that much. Yeah, they <laughs> right, right. <'cause> they ain't <laughs> get that much. So you're not going, you're not going and taking all these courses and shit to be sweeping the flow. You know what I'm saying? But uh, I don't know. Yeah, let me see. <laughs> Joe said, if it ain't nothing wrong with being a janitor, why you ain't one? Cause I, because I'm one of them motherfuckers who spent $80,000 to go to school. And I'll be damned if I sweep a motherfucking flow. I just ain't doing it. Because I'm not going to... I spent too much money for this education that they told us was going to get us out, out this hellhole and shit. They told us it was going to work. Did I work? believed it. Uh, I, to a certain degree. I mean, there's some jobs that I don't have to take because I got somewhat of an education. So, I, I yeah, sort of. Uh, sort of. Man, that's bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit, dog. You <laughs> niggas, niggas and janitors make motherfucking money at Christ. Yeah, they make good money. They make good money. But that's why I be, said you ain't gonna degrade yourself to that motherfucker. It ain't, level. it ain't no, it ain't no degrading. I'm just, I just, I feel like I paid too much in an institution to do manual labor. I don't ever want to do manual labor again. I did that shit my whole life. Like I, I, I ain't a nigga still who ain't. do it. <laughs> the that's fuck different. That mean? That's different. That's not no. manual labor. That's no, not manual labor. It's it, motherfucker. I'm grinding. Not... I'm sweating, motherfucker. It does. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking? About? I ain't on desk job. When I say manual labor, I mean like manual labor. <laughs> What's the definition of manual labor? Yeah, tell me. Yeah, to me, manual labor is like motherfucking putting parts together and, and, and cleaning and, and, and throwing away shit. That's that's manual labor. Putting cars together. You know what I'm saying? So, so motherfucking what? unloading trucks, nigga. That's manual labor. So chef is, chefing is not oh manual Oh, my God. Labor? Bitch, you've been crying all day. Together. I put shit together. I put meals and motherfuckers together. I sweat on a hot motherfucking snow. Fucking from 7 o'clock to 10 o'clock at motherfucking Yo. night. That's manual labor, nigga. Yo, birthday month, man, bitching all fucking night, yeah, man. Bitch ass nigga ain't back no drink. I had to buy my own motherfucking do say. It's my motherfucking birthday. This supposed to be my guy. This motherfucking green, red light, green light, nigga. Red light, green light. Yo, this, <laughs> this nigga bad. This nigga bad for real. I'm angry man today. Fuck it. Yo. I'm taking your role. Hey, you you hey we go. <laughs> we gonna move off of that shit then, man. But uh, I just want to see what y'all thought about that shit, That's dog. Bullshit. But uh, <laughs> Gigabyte, we gotta go to your shit real quick before we get to the for real topic. Hey, this some shit he about to say. This some shit he about to say. This hey, shit is crazy. If you watching right now, though, make sure you check out my man Monk Money. Tell him Happy B Day, man. We gonna read it out loud. to shout out. You feel me? So appreciate y'all. Let me see. Uh, hold on. You you about to go? Go ahead and say what you about to say. Yeah, angry man. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, dog. Oh. You grab some paper towel, bro. <laughs> I'm dying, dog. Too much oil in my head. <laughs> Check. Sweating bullets. I was watching this right. shit on uh, YouTube Vice, and these motherfuckers went down to Columbia, and they got this strange ass fucking tradition where these motherfuckers fuck donkeys. Man. They're encouraged. No, I'm saying fathers man. encourage their sons to the fuck, fuck donkeys hey, so they fuck women. So is this what? Is this where the is this where the term she got a donk come from? Donk. She got a donk. Oh, no, nigga. She got a donk. She got a donk. Nigga, she, she got, got a donk. donk. I don't want no bitches with a donk. No, dog, man, I'm lying. Donk. Man. Man. And the fucked up thing about it is. They showed my man fucking a donkey, dog. On this was on TV, nigga. This was on YouTube on Vice. <laughs> but the nigga, but my thing is, the nigga look like he thirty already, so he, he just a, getting some pussy. No, nah, he just enjoyed that <laughs> shit. He's just one of them niggas that enjoy. He like fucking donkeys more than women. Oh no, <laughs> nigga, dog. These motherfuckers are strange, dog. And they they tell the fathers tell the sons that if they fuck the donkeys, that'll make their dick bigger and. All this shit and then learn how to control they nut and shit before they get with women. And, the and this is real life. Dog, I can, dog, I can show you this shit, dog. I can't lie to you. I can't make this I, shit. I don't, I don't want to see it, though. That's the I thing. I don't, don't want to see it. Why were you watching it? <laughs> 
Why would you use that? I think that's the real question. All right, you know what? I agree. On that video. Yeah, I think that's the real question. Bullshit on TV, like what the fuck is going on? Dude, that's one of the ones where you stumbled upon. Like, wait a minute, what am I watching? Like, and then. But then you just keep watching. No, but my man man was like, a man that was hosting, and he was like, the guy allowed. You know, he agreed to allow us to film him. Giving it to the dog. So, so, like, so I'm trying you to. You want you want to see him giving like, it to the dog? Yeah, I'm mad for this shit. I'm like, wait a minute. This is. I'm like, no, this is just about to be a nigga fighting a dog. Question. Question. Was it, was it female donkey? I'm gonna yeah yeah because they they say they had pussies so okay. it's a female. <laughs> so, so, so it don't make it bad. So you were just trying to see no, was it gay or? Hey, you fucking an animal. Hey, can you fuck anything with a dick? Can you fuck anything with a dick? You gay? So, 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 <laughs> I'm just saying, I, I did. I'm gonna say that you shouldn't be fucking an animal at all. And it's a female, he's just a freak. I'm gonna say you don't need to be fucking an animal at all, yeah, though. No. <laughs> that shit crazy. So if, it's a, if it's a female animal, he's just a freak. Yeah. No, he's just nasty motherfucker all the way around. Yeah, that shit is, that shit is <laughs> terrible, <laughs> though. He should be laughing at this shit, though. No, <laughs> Yo. I'm glad he down here, though. Yo, my man, my man. My man Joe said, uh, I hate to agree with him, but I have I have been overseas and heard stories of raids or, or, page, or what is it? Or uh, patrols that led us to seeing this at night while on patrol. Like, damn. You saw a nigga real fucking shit. donkey, bro? Right. Oh. So, damn, Joe, you see that shit in real life. Joe, you see everything. Right, right there. You've been around, my nigga. No, they be fucking sheep, goats. Yeah, bro, bro, I had, I had goats. I hold sheep. But my thing is, my thing is, though, I was working with a nigga, bro. Who was fucking a goat? A, a chicken. This shit, dog. I'm chicken. That shit, dog. Cause it was a motherfucker on YouTube doing that shit. He said he fucked a chicken, up. bro. YouTube yeah, YouTube is obviously the devil. <laughs> YouTube is obviously the devil. Man, why you wanna fuck a goat, man? Why animal, man? All these freaky motherfuckers. Why <laughs> you wanna fuck a goat? <laughs> hey, Coco J, though, just going back to what we was talking about earlier. Uh, Coco J was talking to you, monk. She said, uh, if you enjoy it, it's not manual labor. She said, I thought you enjoyed cooking. I thought you were talking about donkeys and shit. I'm about to cuss Coco J out. I ain't fucking up goddamn donkeys. What the fuck you talking about the donkeys? Oh, God. Yo, we, we but gotta... I do enjoy it. I love, I, love, I love doing it, but I got to get out of it because it's not for me. And yeah. by the way, I forgot to say this. Fuck the Food Network. I knew that was coming. I, knew I that was fuck coming. the Food Network. They don't like our kind in our mind, that motherfucker. <laughs> bitch. I love doing what I do, but they don't like me. Yeah, for no sure. No matter what I do. Yeah, that's true. Hey, but look, we gonna we gonna keep it moving. We gonna get out of there. I, I seen uh, I seen Joe had mentioned something else too. We was talking about the manual labor shit, and he was saying that uh, he said about you know being a trash man, a janitor, or a city worker. I mean, it, these are all great jobs, and these jobs used to carry whole families. But I ain't gonna lie, when they gave me this whole motherfucking song and dance about college, getting me out the way and shit, then I, I decided I did all of that shit leading up into a degree, and I ain't doing that shit no more. And I think that's okay. Like it's cool. It's people I that think it's okay too. Yeah, I mean it's garbage men probably making more money than I'm making right now and shit. But still, I ain't doing it. <laughs> yeah, but I still, ain't, I just ain't doing it. For one, I'm just too lazy. You know what? I don't think it's all that. I think it was just, uh, it was just the time and the, and, and the way to go. You know what I'm saying? That was their way to go. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Our pops and granddads, you know. Worked in the factories shit. and shit, yeah. So that wasn't our way to go. Right. If that was our way to go. That's just the way we would go. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. You, you ain't bullshit. You know, that's just how I think about it. You know, they did it so we didn't have to do right. it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. You know what True that. But what I really want y'all to do is contribute to our Patreon account so we ain't got to do none of that shit no more. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I really want y'all to do. You know what I'm saying? Hit us in that motherfucking Patreon. Throw us a couple dollars so we ain't got to go to these motherfucking jobs. Niggas need but, uh, Right, niggas need that. All right, so look, we're going to get into our for real topic, man. Thank you, everybody. Everybody for checking us out right now. Appreciate Don't it. forget, man, if you got Instagram or Twitter, hit up my man, Real Monk Money. Uh-huh. And of course, myself, Hood Howard Stern, right there on Instagram and on uh, and on Twitter, man. Wish my man a happy birthday right now. Thank uh, you. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, where we go? Go. Oh, before we jump off, Coco J said, having a degree just leaves us with more options. That's all. And that, and that's, hopefully that's the case. I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes it don't. No, because I'm Sometimes say, it don't. Man, Sometimes you get those same options that you had before you went. Right. And, and man, I hate to say it for anybody, any. Right, 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 right. You know how I many motherfuckers in with degrees in, in Chrysler? Right. Is that? I know. You know what a degree do? 
get you interviewed first. <laughs> but that's, that's it. it. That's that's it. it. <laughs> For the same motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. And in my industry, bro, it's, it's waitresses and waiters. With that's degrees. Been, with degrees. That's crazy. They've been man. in college ever since I fucking, like, ever since the restaurant opened. I know a motherfucker that's 59 <laughs> still in college. 59. And then waiter. <laughs> hey, look, I'm going to say this one thing, then we're going to move off. I'm going to say one thing. It might be a little controversial on this shit, but uh, the reality of it is, man, I'm going to say this and don't tell nobody else. All 15 or 1,600 y'all watching right now, don't tell nobody else that I told you this. But, dog, school is a motherfucking scam. Sorry to tell y'all. Didn't know if y'all knew that or not, but it's a motherfucking scam. But I think I'm thankful for my degree, though. <laughs> anyway, so we gonna, we gonna get off of that shit right now. I'm just saying, man, for real. We had to put that out there. You had to put that, I had to out, put there. It out there, dog. I, I encourage anybody to take advantage of school for the experience, for what you're gonna learn. I swear to God, you can teach yourself on YouTube. I'm just saying. The experience with other people and other cultures and shit like that, you can go to school for that. But to, to actually learn some shit, you can teach yourself on YouTube, bro. Like, for real. All right, so anyway, and it don't cost $70,000. All right, so we off of that shit. We're going to go to our for real topic. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go to our for real topic. If you just not joining us, then you got to know what we're talking about, man. We want to know, should men have the right to opt out of parenthood? Ladies, I know y'all over there giggling right now because you think a lot of niggas have already opted out. But we're talking about the for real opt out, where I, I don't want to be the daddy, and then you can't call me, and the courts can't fuck with me. That's hey, what we're talking about. I should buy every donut in this bitch so nobody won't get none. Bitch, <laughs> you see a couple of fat niggas over here fighting over motherfucking donuts. I got all these big niggas over here looking at me all stupid and shit. Yo, hit us in the comment box if you want to comment, dog. We want to know should men have the right to opt out of parenthood? Like I said, I know ladies, I know y'all out here laughing and shit because a lot of niggas ain't already opted out illegitimately. But we're talking about for real, for real, where you have the, the option to say, you know what, I don't want to be the daddy, y'all and you don't have to do out shit. When y'all can, when y'all want to. <laughs> Damn, you mad about that? The friends of the Cunt. Is it turned again? Oh, shit. We gotta, gotta talk to the friends of the cunt and shit. <laughs> friends of the cunt. <laughs> friends of the cunt. Right. All right, so we gonna go around the block one time, dog. Gigabytes, what'd you say, dog? Should dudes have the option to be like, you know what? Go ahead and have that kid. I'm cool. I'm gonna be over here fucking with motherfucking Bonquish. I mean, well, they this is, should be something that they're talked about, but before they have sex yeah. with each other, but in the... Go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. Yeah, the, a man should have the same options that the woman has. Yeah. The woman has 25 different options. She got she got contraceptives, she got plan B, she got adoption, she got shit, the, the no questions asked, leaving abortions. <laughs> abortions. Abortions. Right. Exactly. So we don't have any of them options. That don't have is turning by itself. Yeah, you're right though. So should, should we have some? Hell we yeah. Have options. And what should it be though? What like, should the option be? Oh, let me share that. The option should be if he don't want to be the father, then he should be able to sign his rights away. Yeah. Now is that is that happening in some places? Man, we just can't Sweden. get that shit right. Sweden so Sweden is doing it right now. Yeah, Sweden's doing that. If if you get pregnant and yeah. the man don't want it, he has the right to sign off or you have to get a, an abortion. Big up Sweden. <laughs> <laughs> Big up Sweden. That's terrible That's some bullshit. No, it ain't. Because if I don't want the child and I feel like I'm not going to be in this fucking child life, yeah. then what the fuck are you going to have him for? Just to keep a nigga? It's a keep a nigga baby. And I ain't trying to be there. Yeah, no, I feel you on that. But I mean, damn, that's a, that's a fucked up it thing. It is though. fucked up, but it's fucked up that women put themselves in those situations. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because you want this nigga around and he don't really want to be there. He was just for the one night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He was <laughs> there for the one night. For the one hit a quitter. And, and, and some shit happened in the, in, you know, in the process. He, he yuled and shut the club up. <laughs> he, he shot the club up. And... You fucking should have just said, look, all right, now can we discuss this? But yeah. we don't have a say in nothing. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a say in shit. If she going to have this baby, then I'd have pappy, and I got to <laughs> pay these motherfucking friends of the court. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But when she can go to the motherfucking the police station and drop this motherfucker off at the door and no questions asked, then you can fucking go, you can do abortions, yeah. you know what I'm saying, without my consent. Yeah. Like, what if I wanted the baby? Right. Oh, you don't get no say so in this. Exactly. Bro. So what the fuck? I Our plan B is a shotgun. Hell yeah. <laughs> or a hanger. You stick that. Ooh, oh, shit. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> shit just went way left. <laughs> oh, shit. I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Shit, <laughs> <dude>. <laughs> 
careful. <laughs> oh, look, nice little jiggly push down some steps. No, oh, wow. That's hey, look. Bullshit, but we got to go through all that. We got to get. You can't go to jail. Careful on 24. <laughs> You're right. That motherfucker rolling around it. <laughs> we got that moving camera and shit, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's a new technology. That's an E Block radio technology. They rolling. You know what I'm saying? And they so, hate it. But, but, Coco, what options do we have other than condoms? Y'all got 25 different right. options. Right. Now, she said we got the option of a condom. That's Man, it. it's like. That's our only option. Y'all got birth control. Y'all can put a condom in y'all. Y'all can do all this shit to get to prevent it. But, but you know what? It's like I've been saying for years, and y'all you know, been talking to Howard Stern about this. We've been going at this for years. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like this here. If you're out of wedlock, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't married, you go in front of a judge, and both of y'all come to a consent, watch how many kids be aborted and how many kids not even being born. Right. No, I believe that's probably true. You know what I'm saying? If Population you, control. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Hey, nah, Candy Cash said, uh, she said both parties already have options, protection or birth control, flat out. I feel that, right? But we're talking about options after the point. Yeah. And the reason I say that is because women, like, it's, it's weird to me. Right, it's, it's weird to me because women women ultimately make the decision, I guess, uh, more than likely because they're carrying the baby. You it's know what their body. So it's it's their, their body, body right? Mm -hmm. But then as soon as you have something to say about that, then it's the whole, but it took two of us to make the baby. Yeah. But it don't ever make two of us to make the motherfucking the decision. decision. No, it's, so it's when, your decision. when does it be fair? Like, and then honestly, honestly, ladies, right now, I ain't even gonna hold you up right now. We're trying to be 100 right here on the E Block Radio, dog. If you're watching right now, please hit me in the comment box and tell me sincerely. If you was having a baby with a dude and he said he ain't want no parts of it and, and wouldn't be able to get child support or nothing from him, would you keep that baby? I really want to know, sincerely. Like, ladies, hit me in the comment box let me know. Would you really stay with that dude if y'all went through the whole process? He withdrew his parental rights and everything. Like, you can't get shit. You can't ask for nothing or nothing. Like, would you still have that baby? Hell no. No, 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 no. If it wasn't for child support and all that other stuff, they 99% of them wouldn't. You don't think so? Charles, they know they got a safe a Hell safeguard yeah. to, to catch yeah. them if, if they motherfucking fall. I mean, they got a safeguard nowhere <laughs> wrong, all the way around. Hey, they got fucking candy can say, go get clipped if you don't want, if you don't want to get, if you if you want to fuck wrong. <laughs> Get your shit clipped. Shoot the club up. You got to get the shit slipped. Coco J said, both are grown, but know what can happen without protection. Like, all, 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 all of these things are true. All that are true. And both of y'all made still, reality, right? But still, y'all have the decision. Yeah. If I say I don't want to have this baby and you want to have it, yeah, all right, you gonna have it. Man, you gonna have it. Y'all can, have it. can yeah. take Plan B the, the day after. Y'all got three days to take Plan B. <laughs> that's that's uh, that shit over the motherfucking counter. And then and then still, even with that though, it's ultimately still your decision. That's no what I'm decision. saying. Like it's we, your body. Like we we don't have a say so in it unless we agree. If we agree, then it's all good. Like, oh, you want to have a baby? Let's have a baby. Or, oh, you want to kill the baby? All right, let's abort this shit. Like, then, then it takes two of us. But if I got a different opinion, though, if I'm saying, like, damn, you know, I don't really, like, we ain't ready and I ain't shit. I ready for no baby. If you decide to have that motherfucker, man, like, who, like, I don't know. Okay, now let me ask, let me ask the, the women in the uh, audience a question. Oh, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Coco J said y'all just want the easy way out. God damn! Oh, you better wait for your show tomorrow, God damn it! Oh, oh, you trip, oh, ball, ball. Ball. Yeah, so he says he's yeah, yeah, I'll be here tomorrow, God damn it! Is that the easy way? I got, that the, I got easy the way out. My forehead on that shit. Oh, shit. Man, come on, bro. Is that the easy way out? Yeah. Explain that to me. I want to hear the next comment after that. It's no, but <laughs> no. first it take two at first. Huh? Right, right. At first it take two. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, what the it ain't fuck? easy for nobody. At the Coco J. Coco J. No disrespect, but get the fuck out. of here. <laughs> 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 How the fuck is that? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. How's that the easy way out? If I'm not ready. To have a baby, and we both was laying in this motherfucker, and you probably want to say, "Come at me, it feels so good." <laughs> and that's it. They forget that part. That's, 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 that's how a lot of us got to this yeah, motherfucker yeah, anyway. Cause niggas ain't gonna do it up right. Not, not just our kids, but us. Cause we didn't pull out a lot of us guys. We didn't pull out kings. If right. you just say, "Come at this, it feels so good," then what the fuck? Then we both was in this motherfucker. Cause I, right, I decided to bust a nut in you, and you asked me to do it. She said. She say that, that the easy way out mean that you fucking without a condom and then you signing your rights over. What you we? Mean? Fuck? You what you mean? We? I mean, evidently she got raped. We? Right on. <laughs> we? <laughs> you know the motherfucker condom wasn't there. You know the 
fucking for Philly? Right. You can't sleep in You can't. You knew what I was right. yeah. You can't be fucking in me and saying some shit like, oh, shit, bust in me and shit. And think a nigga, nah, no. No, no. 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 He gonna do that. He gonna. Huh? 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 One of them behind the screen. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit, yo. Yo, hit me in the comment box right now, man. If you, we want to comment on today's topic, man. Should men have the right to opt out of parenthood, dog? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, Coco just said we this. terrible. That's crazy. No, you terrible because we decided the motherfucker shoot the club up. You said do it, and I did it. Like monkey see, monkey do. You say it, I did it. Huh? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. When you when she lets you slide in that bitch with all of them. Yeah. Let's now, let me ask you, you don't go a question. Right. Just because, what gives you, what tells you that a man is qualified to be a father? What 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 about this man that you laid down with and allowed him to put himself inside you said that this man is worthy to be the father of my children? If he Pro- say he's probably not. He say he's not ready to be a father. You right. But, see, but probably nothing though, because so many women, so many women, it'd it be funny to me. So many women act like they despise their baby daddy. Like you, at some point, you love that nigga though, at and, and you thought he was gonna be a good daddy. About, he ain't shit. You so you let him not shit, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Right. See, you see, see exactly. And that's, you, you let him not shit, nigga. Fuck you. That means you got some not shit pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I've been drinking. Yo. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Yo, can't 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 say. You took that shit somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit somewhere else. Candy Kane said, so the sex was so good, you willing to put a baby there and then want to opt out? She said, hell no. Nah. Then she, then she said, then we she did said, it. We it was, but it wasn't a baby when I put it there. It's <laughs> just, just enough. I'm that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> shit, I didn't put a baby there. We did that shit. Then she said, uh, so it's, it's her fault. It, well, let me see. It's, it's, it's her fault that you busted in her. Uh, Coco J came back. She said, what tells you this chick you laid up with it's worth being a mama, knowing it can't, knowing it can't. I ain't trying to make her a hey, mama. Hey, 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 I man. say this shit every time. Know who you laying down with, motherfucker. Now, mm-hmm. now you knew you was laying down with a not, not shit ass nigga, so you knew he was none shit. You knew he had a, a wife, a girlfriend, a boy, maybe a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> maybe oh, a no. boyfriend. Hold on, Jack said, what's sperm make? I mean, no, no, who said, oh, candy can't say that. <laughs> you said you ain't put no baby in shit. What, what's sperm make, man? It's motherfucking day, man. It's both motherfuckers fault. Yeah. Oh. Looking for the bigger reason to blame each other. Wait a minute, dog. This is a side note like a motherfucker, dog. Real quick, I gotta say this shit. The story that my nephew told me. When you said that shit about the dude and shit, dog, nephew told me that is a is a uh, is a chick and is a and his old man and his uh his step pops and shit. He might as well be a stepdad now and shit. Uh in his neighborhood, dog. Turns out she had a dude who was cheating on her, right? This is a wife. Cheating on her with the boss's daughter, right? Mm. So she decided to follow the nigga, right? She followed the nigga to see who to, you know, see catch him and shit. So she called the nigga in the park, but this time he was in the he was in the, <laughs> the car with a dude heading him up, cuz. Oh no. So he yeah, not only no. cheated on her with the boss's daughter, he cheated but he cheated with, with a dude. See, she could have got over <laughs> the boss's door. That right. should work through the boss's daughter. But I you know. got another nigga slung in your mouth. Duh. There's no talking. No. I'm about to throw up. That, she's no, that's how I feel. I was about to throw up when he I said that. I'm like, cuz what? He was like, dog, no, straight. Let's just say, what the fuck? <laughs> dog, I swear to God, that's what he just told me, dog. What the? And, and that that shit was so random, and, and I, I I completely forgot, cause I was gonna I was gonna say that shit earlier. But when you mentioned that shit about the dude, I'm like, dude, they, he got got my man in the car, giving him a Hedy Murphy and shit. That's huh? fucked up. Bro. That's all fucked up. And that's what I'm saying. Hedy Murphy, cause. But you probably knew. You, now you know that you probably got a kid by him after that. <laughs> he probably got a kid after that. Huh? After that, after you knew all that, so you just can't blame it on a dude. Like, like right. don't get it twisted. We both had a motherfucker saying this. Yeah. We supposed to, right? But now, but we don't. The courts, really the know courts give it to all the women. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And I'm, I, I, and I'm a victim of child. Child support, friend of the cunts. <laughs> this nigga said a victim. I'm a victim <laughs> of it. A victim. I'm a victim of it because I, 
I Shout do. out to all the niggas who think that they victims because they paying child support. I do for my baby boys, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I do. For, I love my kids, bro. Yeah. If you check my fucking Facebook page, it's my motherfucking kids on there. Yeah, nah, and I yeah. love them. Yeah. But I still have to pay this motherfucking price. <laughs> it still got to do do what I can do. what you got to do, right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Nah, and, that, and that shit is fucked up. Yeah. Like, my motherfucking son, 19 years old, I'm still paying fucking child support for this <laughs> motherfucker. And I'm buying books. Yeah. In college. Right, in college, right. Yeah, and I'm right buying now. books. <laughs> Like, so I mean, it's, so is that what it is though? Like I think, I think for a lot of women though, I think they got it. I think they got the whole concept mixed up. I think that there's a lot of dudes like just, just, just my opinion. There's a lot of dudes who just don't make good fathers. They don't. I, I don't think that is because they don't want to pay the money. Like they ain't got the money. I think they just not good dads, nigga. I love the sometimes. Kids. Sometimes though, I, I think it's all right if you just if you really delete a, a no good nigga out your life. I think it's okay. Like I, I think you should be rooting for that shit. Like yeah. if a nigga, if a nigga that, that told you off rip, I ain't about to be shit, dog. Let that nigga go. Hey, yeah. this bitch, no. I ain't fucking with you but, all this baby. Hey, right, but my thing is, go, my thing is, this nigga been telling you from the jump. I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm not ready to be in this. I'm not ready, but you get pregnant in this situation yeah. and you gonna have a baby. Yeah. He still ain't motherfucking ready. <laughs> yeah, what the change. fuck? Ain't shit changed from the situation yeah. that you pregnant? That's, that's, that's just showing you. Like yeah. I said. If it wasn't for child support, WIC, and all these other things, the state, the state, the state government, period, women would have be very choosy on the men they allow to nut in them. My my man Joe uh, just checked in. He said uh, he said he got trapped while he was in the military. Said so have a child, and I wasn't ready for it. But now. Uh, now she pissed because I want to know my daughter and spend time with her. Like now, now what's what's up with that? Like so, if if you had a baby with a dude and shit, and he told you like I can't fuck around. Sorry, Joe, she an honorary bitch. Right, but now he, now he come back around, you know, want to rectify his mistakes or whatever, however you want to call it, Joe. You know what I'm saying? Like, how can she be pissed though? Like, how you mad now? Like at some point. I thought the whole concept was that you wanted this man to be a, a father to his child. So once you actually get that, how the fuck is you mad? Like because they hold upon. You know what I'm saying? They always hold upon. Yeah. I want to tell y'all situation. Fucking suck. Yeah, my that fucking brother. Suck. Yeah. My brother. One hundred nigga. Yeah. That nigga make bread. He's overseas. Yeah. He's making bread. Shout out now, to my man Joint. Shout out to Joint. And this motherfucker taking him through the motherfucking the ringer. Damn. For what? I don't know. And it's she a, up, I know what you're talking about. And she a fucking nurse. Yeah. My thing is, like, she a nurse. It ain't bro. like she out here. <laughs> it ain't like she's struggling yeah. and starving. She a nurse, but she's still taking a room. But you know why? You know why? It ain't because that she's hungry and she needs some shit. Being vindictive. Bitter. Yeah, bitter. Yeah. You bitter than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But what's crazy about that is it be so many baby mamas, women, you know, ex-wives, whatever you want to call them at the point. It be so many of them who be then I, you know I use air quotes and shit uh, moved on. But so how the fuck are you bitter? Like yeah, dog, you know bitches you that's got husbands husband. who bitter with their baby daddy. Like yes. go on and be happy with your life. Like how you bitter with your baby daddy and you got a husband? Like you got a husband. Bitch, if you don't keep it moving up, because you know why? Nine times out of ten, the husband ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> the, husband, the husband ain't working. He living off. He never off hit her child support uh, and her job. So, so they both bad. They both bad. You so he, he mad because she ain't got that child support. Yeah. She mad because she got to check you about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Damn. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> Yo. I can't. What happened? It's, it's shit coming up so fast. I can't keep up with shit, dog. You read it? You got it already? Yeah. She said Candy can't say he can go, but he still have responsibilities. Right. Definitely. Definitely. Now see, now, see, that's what I'm saying, though. No, we want him to be able to go and just be gone. Like, we don't want no responsibilities. Like, if, if a dude opt out and say he don't want to fuck around, then just let him opt out. Let me see. Uh, Coco J said, uh, this is her last word. She said, of a, hold on, last word of a man. If a man do opt out of being a father to a child that he didn't want, he definitely should feel some type of way because he has a seed out in the world he didn't want to take care of or or a relationship with. But you knew that. Now, but you, now you know what? But you knew this, that. But, but a woman... A woman can have a kid and drop that motherfucker off, off at the at fire the station. Yes. But at the no, police station. Don't nobody say nothing about that. Nobody ever hey, said she that. should feel bad about you that. that. Nobody said that. I know. I have a cousin. I have a cousin that fucking baby mama just dipped, dropped the kids off and dipped. 
Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and nobody's saying shit about that shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of fucking single dads out here, but yeah. we don't get no motherfucking props. You oh, know what I'm saying? Never, we, don't get no, we don't get no shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of dead dads that make, take care of kids on their own. Right. Just like you single moms. You know what yeah. I'm saying? We don't get no props. But I give you single moms the props because y'all are doing it on your own. I'm not taking nothing away from y'all. Right. But it's the situation y'all put yourselves in. Like, the nigga knew you knew off the rip the nigga wasn't shit. Yeah. You had to know. <laughs> I, I guess. It's I, some size. It's some tell some, 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 some niggas is some niggas is chameleons. Some niggas is chameleons. Some niggas is good. Some niggas is good. Even if you got to take it that far, at, at some point, you know, you, you still going through with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? At some point in time, you know, from the point of time to seven to the point of birth, he didn't gave you a sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not fucking with you right now. Hell yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But you he know, ain't ready to be in a relationship. Old cliche. You know what I mean? If old girl doing her thing, this, that, and the other, she say, I'm trying to get my life together. I ain't ready. I can't have a kid. Get an abortion. It's done. Right. She pregnant. He say, look, I'm trying to get my life together. I ain't ready to get a uh, I don't want to have no kid. He the worst motherfucker on the face of the earth. First of right. earth, for you sure. You know what I'm saying? That's just how it is. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's just one of those fucking things. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's no way of getting around it. They control it. Right. You know what I mean? It, it is what it is. It's one of the things we got That's just the bottom line, though. <laughs> that's just the bottom line. Yo, uh, what up, though, Ebony? She just checking in, man. She said she checked in late. Uh, Candy Kane says, some niggas don't tell you that they, that they don't want a baby. Just a loser bitch nigga. Like what? <laughs> it, is, it is. Some niggas is like some that. Niggas is some niggas is like that. Some niggas play up into the point knowing that whole time that they don't want no baby. He's playing the role. He's right, playing the role. He's crossing your ass over. Yeah, now that that's some whole ass yeah, shit. Yeah, that's though. some whole ass shit. Coco J says, so that makes it okay, Monk? <laughs> what, what makes it okay? He said, what makes them not shit is not taking care of their seed. I mean, that, that's the reality of it. Hey, is. But again, women had it. She had it. Let me ask her a question. Women had it up. If I didn't want to have it and you had it, then what the fuck, what is, the the fuck point? is the point? And that's what I was about to say. You answer it for me. Like, what's the I'm point? I'm telling you, I don't want to go this route, and you do it anyway, then what the fuck? I yeah. told you before you had it. <laughs> he I had said. He answered my question. Thank yeah, you. He already answered it. He answered <laughs> like she said, I'm having, how many times have we heard this, if not ourselves, through our homies? I'm having this baby, I don't give a fuck. Right, okay, yeah, you heard that shit before. Fuck, then do you do what the do fuck your you thing, do? Right. I didn't told you what the fuck the business is in the first place. And some <laughs> niggas are, a lot of niggas, like 85% of the niggas are bu brutally honest. He gonna tell your ass, like, look, I ain't shit. <laughs> like, I, I'm not. Bitch, I'm not my, shit. Bitch, bitch, my daddy that wasn't there wasn't shit. He want my daddy one shit. <laughs> so like, I ain't gonna be shit. Nah, I ain't about to be there. I ain't shit. But then, then again, but it bitch, is I'm all right. My daddy wasn't there, bitch. I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> right. Like, oh, well, shout out to Joe. Exactly. Shout out to Joe, though. That. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he shout, shout out to Joe trying to get his relationship back with his, uh, with his, with his kid. kid. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, at first he told her. Yeah. Like, he told her he wasn't ready for that shit. Yeah. And then she had it on her own. Now you have a conscience. Men do have a conscience. Yeah. They want to get like well, some, some of them, <laughs> yeah, some, some of them do have a conscience. <laughs> that they want to get in their kids' life. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They want to be there for their babies. Like me personally, I love the kids. For sure. I talk a lot of shit. Yeah. But I love the motherfucking <laughs> yeah, kids right. though. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong. My right. kids are 100. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like if I have another kid, they're gonna be 100. For sure. Because I love the kids. Yeah. But my thing is, a lot of niggas don't love the kids. They like making them. <laughs> but they don't love, they don't love, they don't love the product. <laughs> no, they don't love what they come out of it. What Word. come out of it. You know what I'm saying? But, and, but my, my thing is, you know, a lot of things go through a lot of women's head when she pregnant. They, they yeah. say a lot of shit. They get really emotional. They say a lot of shit. We're going to put that out there again. They say a lot of shit. Say what yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that shit's supposed to be acceptable. Right. But if we say some shit, we are held accountable. Yeah. If I say that, the first thing, I don't want no kids. I'm held accountable for that shit until that kid is 21, had eight kids. Right. They motherfucking die. At one point, you said you didn't want kids. Right. At no, some point. Now they say they don't want one. They made the best decision this ever. Right. Fucking yeah. Life. yeah. Like, oh, girl, you did the right thing. Like, now you can go on about your life. Yeah. 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 That's bullshit, that's bro. That's what I don't understand. But that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, these women need to put their fucking self in our shoes, bro. They don't. You know what I'm saying? They get shit misconstrued. Yeah. Put yourself in my shoes. If I'm telling you, I'm not going to be a good dad. Yeah. Not me personally, because I'm a great dad. I'm not even. Coco J. Some niggas out here that's not shit, they just stay not being shit. 
She said, low, low, she said low, low effort into becoming a not shit person. Hey, <laughs> that nigga wasn't shit, shit when he was fucking At the fucking beginning. That shit works on When he came out the womb, he wasn't shit. That you that he knew that. Fucking you, he wasn't shit. Low low works on both feet. He probably was hitting that shit like, ah, I ain't shit. Ah, I ain't shit. <laughs> She's like, you hitting that shit. She said the same shit. Hell yeah. She works on both feet. She said if he did, Candy Cane said if he did, he would he would pull it out. <laughs> yeah, we we got all kind of comments, man. We running over. Uh, what about the condo? What the condo? What about the condo? Yo, 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 we done ran all over time, man. You we gotta get out of here. Fuck for fifteen minutes, twenty five minutes. Now you worried about the condo? Pull out now. It's a long way. Five minutes into the show. Yo. On that note, man, we gotta jump up out here, dog. Fuck, <laughs> and we gonna, we gonna go around the block one last time, dog. Gigabytes, what'd you say, bro? Should we be able to opt out that shit? I believe the men should have the same rights that women have. Yeah. Hell yeah. If you want an abortion, you get an abortion. Hell yeah. You want an abortion, get it. <laughs> Angry man, what'd you say? Everything else is a two way street with them motherfuckers. Fuck them. <laughs> Damn! Yeah. Hey. I'm birthday, gonna, birthday month. What I'm up? I'm gonna be like angry man. Y'all burn y'all balls for the motherfucker have equal rights. <laughs> Bitch, I should have some rights in this shit. <laughs> Fuck that. If, <laughs> if we in this motherfucker and I'm fucking wrong, you know I'm fucking wrong. You ain't say the condoms pipe right down the dresser. <laughs> the condoms right, right down the dresser. Right there. It was, right there. was both of us looking at that motherfucker, but didn't grab it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute, Ebony. White folks be running from their goddamn babies too. Oh hell yeah! Oh, I, I, I didn't see that. What happened? What she, she say? Like, that's why you should plan like the white folks' career, date, marry, then babies. Is you nuts? You is she nuts? <laughs> Ain't she nuts? Ain't she nuts? Hold on. <laughs> hey, angry man. Candy can say that's the problem. It says too much fucking. <laughs> <laughs> you might be right. Hey, you might be right, baby. <laughs> Hey, you touch me, I touch you. Just touch. Not okay, touch. you motherfucker. Right. Yo, on that note, bro. Too much On that, bro. We up out here, dog. I want to thank everybody that checked us out. This is some crazy shit, dog. But I want to, I want to say one thing too, though. Yeah, I think that at some point, though, I mean, at some point, we gotta have a say so on something. I think. When, as soon as you disagree that you don't want to have a kid, that's when you become the bad guy. But like Angry Man said, if a woman make that decision that she want to get rid of the, the kid, then it's like the best decision of her life. So at some what point, if I man, want to keep it. Right, right. And what if you want to keep it? You don't really get no say-so, like, ever. So at some point, man, we got to get some equal say-so. I don't know if niggas need to be opting out of kids because niggas would just be having random-ass yeah, kids and we'd be out of control. Everywhere. Yeah, that should be all bad. But uh, Erica say get get some toys, no problems. <laughs> there you go, hey, Erica. Hey, when they perfect the sex robots, we replacing y'all's ass. Damn. <laughs> Hell yeah. Right, cause niggas is already out here fucking motherfucking goats and shit, donkeys and shit, chickens and shit. Yeah. 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 So our sex <laughs> robots getting it daily. Regular. Let's go. I want Billy. Man. Yo, on that note, man. <laughs> Yo, we are we are out of here, man. Make sure you hit us in the comment box, man. Wish my man Monk Money a happy birthday, man. But uh, until the next time, dog. I got my man Gigabytes in the building. I'm out of here. Got my man Angry Man in the building. Quit fucking if you can. <laughs> got my man Birthday Monk in the building. Hey, nigga, pull out. <laughs> <laughs> pull out. And of course, man, you got your boy, man, the Hood Harvester Q Lewis holding it down from six miles to the mile high, man. We about here, dog.